Hear ye, hear ye. Okay, uh, YouTube or RM Dugs banned my first video, so I will do this without any background music as I'm not sure what the heck is going on. Um, but this is a video on how to steely, which means put a steel your face on your profile picture. And so this is what uh, kind of the story behind it. Um, that profile picture shows me, geez, this must have been early 80s at Red Rocks, a dead show. And this is before we had cell phones with cameras. You actually carried a camera around for those that don't know what a camera is. Uh, <laughs> it's a phone that doesn't dial. <laughs> okay. This is a photo I took yesterday, so there shouldn't be any copyright infringement here. Um, <laughs> except for the dead matter. This is how crazy it's gotten. I'm not sure why they banned me on putting the video. This is a photo I took the other way. And that cloud, I believe, is the toaster cloud. And what am I talking about? The toaster cloud. So a guy put a uh, a joke on Dead and Company about his toaster was surrounded by a steal your face. So some context. Because everyone's asking, can you steal your face, my profile pic? And so I kind of did this, which was actually taking the toaster to a whole new dimension. Okay, that's actually a picture of his toaster. I dropped it into GIMP Photo, which is a free version of like a Photoshop app for iMac. And I did a bunch of trickery and uh, made a steely that I'm going to update my profile pic with. Because, you know, Jonathan Going, Scott Brooks, and myself uh, at a dead show in the 80s, that's just traumatic for most people. Yeah, you know, we actually saw Jerry. <laughs> but Dead and Company, I love him. I went last night, had a blast, but I suffer from an ailment called aging, and I was in the hospital for a couple of months, so I hobbled my way there. Now, hopefully, I'm not going to violate any copyright because these guys were talking and it's intermission in tonight's show. I better not say any more because I'm just trying to wing this without any kind of infringement. There's the Dead and Company page. Okay. But what we're going to do is go to Steely Framer. All right. Now, this page is here shinymotive.com forward slash steely dash framer. And you can pause that. This is for newbies and gurus alike. So then we're going to choose a file, okay? And this means that we're going to choose a file to steal your face on. In this case, here's my toaster JPEG file, right? So we click that. And you click open and that drops it in there. Okay, now what's cool is you look down here, you can choose to have it in a old VW bus, move it around type thing. Yeah, it kind of looks like back in the day for sure, a Kobe, um, but I got stories there. Or Steely, in this case we're gonna go Steely. Now you can click this little rotate button, which rotates the image. Okay, but we also want to center it too. So you can just put your mouse on there, kind of drag your picture until we like it. And we we're going to try and set it up perfect or close to it. I'm far from perfect. So that should be good enough. Scale does what it does. It blows it up, shrinks it. Okay, so it's all very easy. You just use your little mouse. You have to be connected to the internet to do this as well. I may not have said that. Then we're going to click next. Okay. Believe me, my parents got lost yesterday. There's a post on my page from my sister about it. <laughs> I think they might have picked up a lost deadhead too. And he was subjected to an hour and a half of my parents being lost trying to find a hospital. And then he finally pleaded for mercy to, to drop him off because he couldn't figure out the directions either. 
So I don't know if my parents were at the show last night or something, but <laughs> we're not going to go there. So um, they're 88 and 86, and uh, let's go here, download. So we're going to download this file, and you'll see up here, I'm using Firefox on a Mac, and it says Steely JPEG. That's going to be the file that we need. Okay, so on the browser, the browser is the thing that this big window, that's what a browser is. And up here, it says Facebook. And so what we're going to do is modify this lovely photo. And people are probably like, what is he doing and changing his profile photo again? And we're going to go upload photo. Okay. And we're going to pick the Steely One JPEG, because that's the latest. Open it. Okay, and there it is. So you can click Make Temporary. And what that'll do is you can kind of set it for a week or a month. We'll go ahead and set it for a month. Click Save. That's important. So now it's saved, right? Should just take a second because it's a rather large file. And with any luck, once it goes blue, you can close that little X up there. Okay. You can click discard, right? And you'll have to go to this little button up here and refresh your browser. This confuses a lot of people. It's right here. <laughs> so it's that little curly Q thing on Firefox right there. You click that and watch what happens. Boom, you've changed your profile pic. So many of you, I think, have been successful in making this steely, but by not refreshing the browser, then you'll get a little notice in your window here that I've successfully changed my profile pic and people are gonna be going, what the heck is going on? So that was the previous one, this is the new one. And there you have it. So that's how you change um, your profile pic to a steely. Hope that helps somebody and I hope I didn't confuse anyone or violate any copyrights. I tried real hard not to. Have a good day. Get ready for the second set of tonight's show on RM Nug.